When a person has their five elements balanced in their body, they look like this, okay? Now, when a person has too much of a mentality that they don't build their body, their physical self, uh, they look like this, okay? Their legs are smaller in comparison to their upper body, okay? When a person has, let's say for instance, too much water in their body, and they're unbalanced, they haven't balanced their air, they haven't balanced their earth, or their fire, they don't move too quick, they start to look like this. Okay. Now, you can tell when a person has a lot of chi in their body, and capable of retreating a lot of chi, when you see their nostrils. Okay, Are their nostrils wider, or are they smaller? The wider the nostrils, the more chi the person will have. Now, if your nostrils are smaller, okay, it means that you're not able to retain as much chi as somebody with wider nostrils could. This is why when you see people with smaller nostrils, uh, they're, they're energy deficient, okay? Now, that's just a way of, of reading chi. Now, you don't have to be stuck unbalanced for the rest of your life. Okay, just because you have smaller or wider nostrils or too much chi or too little chi, you have to, the goal in your life should be to be like this, okay? Be like this to a point where nobody could tell what sign you are, okay? What if you're a, if you're a Virgo, okay, if you're an Aries, nobody should be able to tell what sign you are and that's when you know you're a master. Now let me give you an example. Now here is an excellent example of she balanced and i'm going to give you an example here with these uh a, a, a one monk and a one taekwondo fighter and as you can see the taekwondo fighter is right here and this is the monk now the monk appears to be a little bit more relaxed throughout this whole fight as opposed to the to the taekwondo fighter now you're going to see how one of them initiates the fight and the other one just stays calm and i think it's a taekwondo fighter the one that it's going to initiate the fight now, now the monk, all the monk does is that he just stays still, okay? He just waits for the energy to come to him, you see? And as you can see, he's very, very straight. This one is pivoting back and forth, okay? Doesn't mean he's not balanced, but you could just tell in a, you know, in a fight who is more balanced than the other one. And as you can tell, the monk is definitely more, more, more sheet up than the Taekwondo fighter. He's more in control. He's kind of like hematizing himself. You see, he was not able to hit him. He was very much in control of his space. He's kind of superhuman. Extreme speed and extreme control. Okay, that's a person, that's a great example of a person that is completely balanced and cheat. I can't even tell what, what zodiac sign he is. I mean, I'll just take a wild guess that he's probably a cancer because he's very still and very reflective. And he could go crazy at any moment, you know, depending on the flow of energy, you know, like water. See, right there he went crazy. And that's a typical cancer. I mean, I'm just being vague here. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just taking a wild guess. All right. Because uh, when you see somebody that's disbalanced, they are, uh, chances are you, you cannot guess their sign because they're very neutral, extremely neutral. Now, the Taekwondo master uh, you know, I don't know what to say about them because, you know, it's very difficult to read their facial expression because they're very still. But uh, all I know is that the Taekwondo master is not as, as sheet up as the monk, definitely. Okay. I would say maybe the Taekwondo master is probably a Capricorn. Probably. And I'm guessing because of his, uh, his physique, okay, in comparison to the monk. He's a little bit more solid than the monk. I don't know if you notice, but the monk looks a little bit more fluid to me. Okay. That's just how I see it. Now, as you can see, um, the monk definitely won this fight because he was able to kick him once in the face and uh, this guy was not even able to touch him. But this is just an example of what chi should look like. Okay. A person that's balanced should look like. Okay.